It is time now for Great Day Food, and today we're learning how to make a classic comfort dish that is just perfect for the weeknights, especially on cold days like this. Mm -hmm. Chef yeah. Plum is here to teach us his easy and delicious meatloaf recipe. Hey, Hi, Chef. Hi, Chefy. Hey, what's going on, guys? How are you? Good afternoon. Excited for a meatloaf. I love meatloaf. Yeah. And, oh. I really do like meatloaf. It's a comfort food, and it can be really good for you, too. Yeah, you know, I love all these classics. I feel like all these classics are kind of making a bit of a comeback, and they're so easy to do. And this one in particular, the way I'm going to show you, I'm going to add a couple little chef tricks to it. But you can make this on Sunday and then cook it on Monday, so it keeps your Monday, you know, dinner prep kind of out of the equation all the all together. So let's get started. I'll show you how we're going to get this thing kicked off. I've got a little ground beef here. I've got about two pounds of ground beef here, and about a, a pound of uh, I'm sorry, half a pound of pork, and about a pound of ground beef. I'm gonna put that in my bowl like this. And I don't like a lot of filler when it comes to this. I'm a much bigger fan of uh, using vegetables. So I like to have a little bit of onion. I've got about, uh, this is about a half an onion chopped up here, right? I'm gonna just put that right in there. And then I'm gonna add about four stalks of celery I've got chopped up here. Celery and onions add a lot of flavor, which is really fun to this. Now, one of the things I like to do too is only add a little bit of breadcrumbs. Some people like when your mom would make this when you were younger would really go crazy with the breadcrumbs. I just like to add a little bit. And the reason why, you don't have to, you definitely don't have to. It really helps keep it much, much softer, which is kind of cool because when it cooks, that fat soaks up into those breadcrumbs and kind of makes like a little pillow in there. It's delicious. Yeah. It's weird to say fat and pillow. I get it, Scott. I know, but it, it makes it so much more flavor. Trust me, don't be afraid of it. And I've got a little chopped up rosemary here, fresh. I'm going to put that in there. That's about one sprig. Uh, I'm going to add a nice pinch of salt. I like to use good kosher salt. And then I've got some Romano cheese, okay? You can use Parmesan as well. I like Romano. It's a little bit less expensive, uh, but still kind of adds that same saltiness that we want. Uh, and then I'm going to add a few good pinches of parsley, all right? Here's the trick. A lot of people like to put ketchup in there. I like to use a good barbecue sauce. Like this one's delicious. This right here is uh, a, a one I got from Georgia, which is really great. It's called Bobby Joe's Old Time Barbecue. Oh. We put about a tablespoon of that in here. Oh, yeah. See, it adds that little smokiness, a little bit of sweetness to it. Then we're just going to mix this up with our hands. You can do this without gloves if you want, but I like to wear gloves to keep my hands from getting all messy. And just give it a good mix. But you don't want to overmix it. That's why you never want to mix this in a mixer. Because if you overmix it, it's not very good. It becomes kind of just, you know, mushy and... Yeah. Toughens the meat a whole lot. So, so I got a nice mix on there. Look at this. And you can see, I'll hold it up for you in a second. You can see those chunks of vegetables that are in there. Mm. It's beautiful. Look at this. This, I mean, this yeah. is a thing of beauty to me. Check Wait, that out. So we Look don't need eggs? You can see that there. There we go. You don't. Absolutely, definitely, definitely. You don't need egg. You oh. don't. Uh, egg can be a binder to it. But because we've got those breadcrumbs in there, we use a little bit of barbecue sauce. And then we're using pork and beef. You don't need to have that. Okay. Okay. This is nice and mixed up. Nice and mixed up. Looks great. I don't mind those chunky vegetables. I kind of like that in there. I'm going to take this now. I'm going to put this into my container. You can use whatever you want. If you have one of those loaf pans, those work great. If you have one of those, a uh, uh, bread pan also works fantastic. But I find these little, you know, these little Pyrex containers you used to store stuff in. These things work great as well. Now, let me show you how I can finish this off in the oven. I got my oven set to about 400. I'm going to put, again, some more of my barbecue sauce. And when I'm buying barbecue sauce, I love to buy the stuff that comes down south. Again, this is this one is Bobby Joe's hometown old school barbecue sauce. It's great stuff. Highly recommend it. I've got some on top there. I'm going to brush it with my brush. And then the one thing I do that's kind of chefy here is I take a skewer and I just poke a few holes in it. That helps the uh, moisture get down into it deeper and helps get the heat all the way through it. So it kind of cooks a little bit faster. So I've got my oven set to uh, 400 degrees. I'm going to take this, put it right in the oven. And let me show you what this looks like when it comes out. Check this out. This is beautiful. Here we go. I just pulled this guy out a few minutes ago. Check this out. Are you kidding me? Here's how we're going to finish it off. We're going to pour a little bit more of that barbecue sauce right on top of it, just like this. And then, with my knife, I'm going to cut a few slices off of it. Because it comes out beautiful. I'll show you. Let me hold it up through the camera so you can see. You definitely don't need any kind of binder, any kind of egg, because look at this. Are you kidding me? Look how well. That holds together. Are you kidding me? That's no, gorgeous. Really I just broke up yeah. my pole because I got excited. Now, here's how we're going to plate it. We're going to put it on a plate just like this. Sometimes the beauty is in no beauty at all. A little barbecue sauce on the top of it. Are you kidding me? Come on now. I'm getting so excited about this right now. A little bit of parsley. And now, are you kidding me? Come on. Look at that camera. Beautiful. There you Unbelievable. go. Unbelievable. Old school. 
uh, meatloaf. You can make it the day before and bake it in your oven the next day. It's delicious. Try using a little barbecue sauce, add a little fresh herbs to it. It makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. So glad. So glad you didn't use ketchup. I hate ketchup in my meatloaf. Look. That's why I love you, Scott. I was thinking about you. Thank you, I was baby. thinking about you. Thank you, baby. All and right. no mayonnaise either. No. 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 Okay. So you can absolutely uh, see this again. Don't forget, you can just go to our Great Day Connecticut website and watch the video as you make it. That's so what I love easy, to do. Right? Yeah. I can even do that. Yeah. All right, still